Mitosis is the process a cell undergoes when it needs to copy itself and make new cells. Cell division, by mitosis, enables organisms to grow, replace worn out cells and repair damaged tissues. For example, your skin cells are constantly being rubbed off and replaced with new cells that come from mitosis. This process starts with a cell which we call the mother cell. This mother cell needs to double in size, double its organelles and double its DNA so that when it divides into two new daughter cells, that they have everything they need and are genetically identical. So, if you see a diagram where one cell becomes two cells, then that is mitosis. If a cell begins to undergo mitosis in an uncontrolled state, where the body no longer can tell that cell to stop, then this is what we call cancer. Cancer is the result of uncontrolled mitosis, and uncontrolled mitosis becomes more likely as you age or if you're exposed to anything that can damage your DNA, such as excessive amounts of radiation. Now, we will focus on how the DNA arranges itself in the nucleus of a cell as it undergoes mitosis. Hopefully, this will help you to visualise the process, but some of the terms that will be used will not be in your exam although they are useful if you plan on doing A-level biology. Human cells that are not sex cells contain 46 chromosomes, or sometimes referred as having 23 pairs of chromosomes. In each pair, you will have one chromosome you inherited from your biological father, and one chromosome that you will have inherited from your biological mother. Chromosomes are just made up of one long strand of DNA and certain sections of DNA will code for certain genes. These genes control a particular characteristic of your body, such as eye colour. Now the genes that control eye colour are found in the same sections of the chromosome from your mother and father, so the genes also come in pairs. For the majority of the time, the DNA in the nucleus is hard to see, as it is all unravelled and will only start to condense into a form that is called chromatin when preparing for mitosis. The chromatin continues to condense and it ranges itself into a chromatid. Now the 23 pairs of chromosomes are visible in the traditional sense, but notice that these chromosomes are made up of one chromatid. 46 chromosomes made up of 46 chromatids, or 23 pairs of chromosomes made up of 46 chromatids. In reality, the DNA is already being doubled while still in chromatin form, but this is easier to visualise. So, now we will double the DNA and we get chromosomes made up of two sister chromatids. They're exactly the same, they've been doubled and duplicated and copied. So, 46 chromosomes can be made up of 46 chromatids or after doubling, we can have 46 chromosomes, but now made up of 92 chromatids. This doubling happens in what we call the interphase stage. What follows next is prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, and finally cytokinesis. And these terms are used to describe each stage as the sister chromatids are pulled apart and separated from each other and the cell splits into two and what you end up with is the two daughter cells have now 46 chromosomes made up of 46 chromatids which are genetically identical to the mother cell. In the next lesson we will look at meiosis.